The third Grand Prix of the season takes us to the tropics, to Malaysia. Hardly any other track looks as symmetric from the above, yet the Sepang International Circuit has a new challenge in store at practically every turn. Right after the start, you enter a sweeping right-hander, the approach into the Pangkor Laut chicane. The exit is a downhill left turn section where the front wheel likes to lift off slightly. For the drivers, that means holding back. The circuit demands all-out top performance and full concentration. A quick breather, however, is possible on the straights. The setup, a tricky feat. Too much downforce costs speed, while too little costs grip. And yet, that's not all. If the grip's too strong, the tyres suffer in the corners and on braking. Yet for overtaking, harsh manoeuvres are essential. One further factor for the drivers, the relentless heat. A loss of around 4 litres of fluid tells a very clear story. That's more than a driver can take on during the race, and his body has simply got to cope. On the straight after Kenya Lake comes the first good overtaking opportunity, breaking down into the next S. Speed into the corner is just under 90 km per hour, then up again to 210. Almost blind, the penultimate corner, Sunway Lagoon. The ideal line here is key, so that on the subsequent long back straight you can get up to top speed, that's just over 300, as quickly as possible. Then the final corner in second gear. Great acceleration under the pagoda roof and the finishing line of the Sepang circuit is in sight. According to the experts ahead of the race, how the teams do in the blazing heat of Malaysia will truly show the relative strengths in the field for the first time this year.